So tonight we're, for dinner, we're having roasted garlic barbecue pizza flatbreads. Um, the boys will just get their flatbread and add some pizza sauce with some mozzarella cheese with their choice of pepperoni, bacon, whatever toppings they want. Um, but me, Nick, and Tyler are going to be making ours the garlic barbecue um, chicken. So I just picked up this um, bag of chicken breast tenderloins from Food Lion. You take out what you want. This is two and a half pounds. It comes, they're not stuck together. So I went through, got a Ziploc bag, and I went ahead and I took out five chicken breasts. That should be plant or chicken tenderloins. Sorry, guys. Um, chicken tenderloins, and I went ahead and put it in a bag for it to defrost. Um, once they are defrosted, I will show you guys how we make this super cheap, fast, great dinner. Um, this is my favorite frying pan, so it's old, but guess what? It still gets the job done, so we're going with it. So, Nick, which is my husband, Tyler, which is my oldest son, and myself are going to be having the garlic barbecue chicken. It's fast and easy to make. So the very first thing we're going to do is get all of our ingredients out. The very first thing is we need to be cooking our bacon. We just have some hickory smoke thick bacon, um, three pounds. It's good. We use it for the whole weekend for breakfast, but we are only going to be using four pieces. We're going to go ahead. We're going to throw it in our frying pan and fry it up. You're gonna season that bacon with some onion powder, garlic salt, some salt, and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my frying pan and I will be right back. Okay, so my bacon is in my frying pan. So I'm gonna add some onion powder to our bacon. I'm gonna also add some garlic salt. And I'm also gonna season it with some pepper. And at this point, it's where you can add salt if you want it. This seems to use garlic salt. I figured it was a little too salty um, to add some more salt, so we Okay, that. sorry about that. Millie was barking at me to come inside. She's inside, so we're good. She's playing with her toy. You may hear her in the background barking at me because she wants to eat some bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna throw it on a medium heat. Then I'm gonna come over to my cutting board where I have our five chicken breast tenderloins. I'm gonna cut them up into strips because you're gonna have this chicken into a strippy style chicken to put onto your pizza. So I have it cut into your thin slices since you're gonna put it on your pizza. And I'm gonna go ahead and just throw mine on this plate over here, just because I'm gonna season it with some onion powder, some fresh minced garlic. And you're gonna cook this chicken in the grease that your bacon was in. Um, if you don't want to eat the bacon grease, you can of course clean your frying pan out afterwards and um, throw some olive oil in there. But the taste will not taste the same. So we're gonna go ahead and season our chicken with some onion powder and some garlic salt. And yes, it's kind of messy. And we're also gonna add some fresh minced garlic. And I just throw it in the middle and then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this chicken all up in with that fresh, fresh garlic. We love garlic in our house. Garlic and onion powder is our go-tos. Okay, now what we're gonna do while our bacon is finishing up, we are gonna take a red onion. I've already skinned the onion, it's ready to um, slice it. You're gonna cut it into very thin slices. This is gonna go on a pizza, so you want it thinner. You 
probably hear our cat in the background. She's playing with the blonde, watching the kids because the boys are outside swimming in the swimming pool, playing on their play set. Okay, so I feel like that's enough um, for the pizza. We're going to go ahead and save this red onion just because tomorrow night um, we will be making kebabs. So, save what I can. Okay, so our bacon is completely done. So, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the frying pan. And we're just going to throw it on a plate. Now, remember, at this step, you can take your chicken and you can cook it inside the bacon grease. Or you can go ahead and wash your pan out and cook it in some olive oil. Um, we're just going to go ahead and cook our chicken in the bacon grease because I'm not very picky. So we're going to go ahead and get our chicken. Now be very careful when you throw your chicken in here because this bacon grease may pop. So you're just going to put your chicken all in there. And let it go ahead and cook. Make sure you keep stirring it just because you don't want burnt chicken. So our chicken is cooking. We're just going to go ahead and slice your bacon. We like ours a little bit more bigger pieces. If you did not have one of these knives, you were definitely missing out. My mom and my stepdad got this for me for Christmas years and years ago. And my first one broke. And they bought me another one. And this one's starting to fall apart, but I still use it because it's my favorite one. Okay, so we have all of our chicken cut up, so we're going to go back over. We have all of our bacon cut up, so we're going to go back over to our chicken. Just go ahead and stir that. I wish you guys could smell through the foam because it absolutely smells amazing. Okay, so our chicken is done, so we're going to go ahead, and I have one of these little spoons just so I can drain the chicken as I go, and I'm going to go ahead and plate it on a plate for us to go ahead and make up our homemade flatbread pizzas. Okay, so we have our chicken, our bacon, everything is ready to go. Now, as I was saying... Some of the boys will not eat the garlic bacon um, roasted pizza flatbreads. So they're just going to make a regular pizza. So we just have some homemade pizza sauce with some mozzarella um, with some pepperoni. And then they may throw some onions. They may throw some bacon. Just not sure what they'll put on there. So we just have some Nan roasted garlic. We just take them out. I bought, we have, we're a family of six. So I bought three of the two packs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the boys go ahead and dress theirs up. And I may take a few pictures, may take a few videos. Go ahead and sprinkle that sauce all over your flatbread. Look how good yours looks. You ready to add your cheese and stuff? And Tanner is getting his already. Make sure you sprinkle that pasta sauce all around it. 
Michael, you want pizza, right? Or did you want the barbecue chicken? Uh, barbecue chicken. Oh, First, wow. You got to do your cheese, Goofy. Right here. Cheese, cheese. <laughs> cheese, cheese. Cheese, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Yeah, man. What a mess. So, <laughs> sprinkle all around. Make sure you make all that cheese go around your whole pizza. Yummy. How well I see on my pizza. Yeah, you need to watch you got your clothes. Hey, Nicola or Tanner, go ahead and get some cheese. Watch out. Add some cheese on there. Potato mm -hmm. sauce. Okay, so for the barbecue one, we just get some of our favorite sweet honey barbecue sauce. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit, and then we're just gonna put it into that flatbread. Mr. Nicholas has his pizza ready. As you can tell, I just sprinkle this barbecue sauce over this flatbread. And we're, and we're done. We'll fold your half. No, we're not making calzones. We're making pizzas, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bake <laughs> I mean, if you want to fold yours in half, that's fine, but mommy's mommy's making a flatbread style pizza. Okay, so after your barbecue sauce is on there, you're gonna get some of your chicken. And I'm just gonna throw this chicken onto my flatbread. Pizza, You're making a pepperoni pizza. Okay, so there is my chicken on my flatbread. Our oven's preheated. Make sure you go ahead and preheat your oven to about 350 to go ahead and cook these. Okay, so my chicken is on there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get some red onions. Look at Tanner, he's over there dressing his up. And just get some Ooh. red onions. Oh, Nicholas changed his. So we just get some red onions. Okay, so I have my onions on there, and then I go ahead and get some bacon. Throw one more piece of bacon on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and toss it with some cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and some more barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go wash my hands just cause they're super greasy and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, wash my hands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some mozzarella cheese. You can always use cheddar cheese, but we like mozzarella. My hands are getting stuck in the bag over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle it. On the pizza. I guess Millie wants to come inside again, silly dog. So there is our cheese. And then if you want, you can add a little bit more barbecue sauce on the top. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna throw it on a cookie sheet and then you're gonna bake it for about 10 minutes. If you want it a little bit more crunchy, you can bake it a little bit longer. But this is already cooked. Okay, so dinner's done. This is Nick's. This is mine. This is Tanner's. This is Michael's. This is Nicholas's. This is Tyler's. They look so good. 